My name is Nick Gamble. I'm with the Foothills Farmstead, and we are in Cleveland Madison community uh, across from the Cleveland Fire Department. And what we have behind me is a two-room schoolhouse. We're going to be moving this structure down to the Foothills Farmstead in Oakway, South Carolina. The Foothills Farmstead is located in Oakway. We have 16 acres, and as a nonprofit, we lease that acreage from the county. And the main goal is to recreate a living history farm the way it would have been in this area basically 100 years ago. We interpret the time period of 1900 to 1950, so we usually say circa 1925. In order to do that, we will have probably 12 or 13 buildings, this school being one of them, and we move those there. It will be a typical family farm of that time period. But we also have a section on that acreage for uh, community buildings like a church, a general store, and a school. So this will be part of that. So at the farmstead, we're moving probably at least 13 buildings. Obviously, this is one of them. But how we do that is we go in and we number everything. We take it all apart denail it, wrap it up, take it there, and put it all back together like a giant jigsaw. You can start to see some of the process here with the labels. Um, this means uh, room one, door trim one, number three. So there's three pieces. And so everything is categorized. Uh, there's a system and it's uh, photographed in place with the labels on it. Then we draw it in a, what we call a map book. Then we take it apart and that helps us. And we especially with the photos, when we put it all back together, it helps us with the process of, of how we do this. Everything on the inside gets done first. So we'll do the walls and the ceiling, take the floors out, and then we go outside and start from the top and just come straight down with the structure. So basically what we do is we go in reverse of how they built it. So these columns right here are actually original according to the 1923 picture and we're going to go back with the two classrooms and the cloakroom that's in the back. This room back here was not original, but it's a, a little extension and enclosed of a, of a side porch on the back of the, of the cloakroom and with a well in the back that we assume served the kids in the school as well. No pun intended. If you notice, when we take things off like this sheetrock, you can actually see some of the original siding is still in the walls and we'll be using that and going back with the, the way it was originally built. So this shows the four windows in one of the classrooms. Obviously let in a lot of light for back then for the classrooms. We also have the other chimney, I mean the same chimney but the other fireplace in this room. We really need the help of the community uh, for several reasons up here with this project. Um, first of all, we need any kind of photos, um, memories either written down or we can come record you, uh, people that either lived here or went to school here, anything to do with this structure in this community. Um, when it's moved to the farmstead, we'll actually be telling, uh, it won't be a generic school, it will have the history of this community along with the building itself. And uh, hopefully when field trips come and students come to learn about our way of life in this, in this county and this region, they'll actually be going to school here for a day. Um, so we really need uh, anybody that has any kind of connections, if you could just, just get in touch with us. And uh, we also obviously need um, to raise some funds to move the school. Uh, we, we keep it to a bare minimum by going in and instead of picking up the whole structure and moving it down the road, we can take it apart and rebuild it and uh, uh, the cost is pretty minimal but we also have some waste calls for things that we won't save like the shingles. Um, so you can uh, visit us on Facebook or on our website or get in touch with us somehow but we really appreciate everybody's support. We look forward to getting this thing back together in Oakway. <laughs>